Happening this weekend, the annual Puerto Rican Festival will continue in New Haven. There's a music concert there, and the board will also honor more than 20,000 Puerto Ricans that live in the Elm City. And today, those celebrations began with the flag being raised at the New Haven Green. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon was right there and breaks it all down for us. La tierra de Borin. As the island's anthem, La Borinqueña, sang, the Puerto Rican flag rose and flew high in the Elm City Green. We are here, shoulder to shoulder, to represent our community, our culture, the Puerto Rican community, a growing community in Connecticut. Joy Rodriguez leads the PR festival board. This year, no parade, but there will be a festival on Saturday at the Chris Cuolo Park on Chapel Street with food, music, and a vaccine clinic. New Haven is a big tent. And that metaphor represents, I believe, what makes our community strong, welcoming everyone from around the world to our city, welcoming everyone to live in our city, but also to access, access the resources that make our city strong. A tent that is expanding by the decade. Today, the Census Bureau released data which puts Hispanics or Latinos as the second largest racial or ethnic group, making up nearly 19% of the nation's population. The census officials announcing the country has never been more diverse, adding the more prevalent racial or ethnic group in the U.S. being white alone, non-Hispanic, has decreased. Compared to the last decade, this population dropped by nearly 6%, 63 3.7 to now 57.8. Population numbers are tied to federal funding, and so if we have an uh, increase in population, that is directly linked to our likelihood to get more funding from the federal government to support a lot of the programs. New Haven numbers are still being calculated, and officials are anxious to learn from them. But county-wise, New Haven also saw an increase in diversity, with Hispanic or Latinos being the second largest group, and Black or African American being the third. If you want to go to the music festival or you want to learn the latest about those census numbers, you can head onto our website or the Channel 3 app. In New Haven, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.